The virtual room gives a measure of how reliable our volunteers are at remembering things in the future and whether or not they need to be prompted. Very few of us can get by without any prompts, but it's useful to know what triggers you respond to, whether internal or external. You can test this for yourself in the next chapter of the Mystery at Memory Manor, and this test is intentionally quite complicated. We'll take you back to the crime scene to look round the original room where the painting was stolen from. Your job is to count up in your head the number of paintings that are left. When we get to the end, we'll see if you've got it right. There are also several alarms dotted around the room which may need to be reset. They should be on green, but if you see a red one, mark R on your paper to reset it. And finally, when you get to the end of the test, you need to write down C to say you've completed the task. You'll know when you've got to the end when the timer runs out. Now, it's up to you to remember this, so we won't be prompting you as you go along. Ready? Start now, and don't forget to count those pictures. So, how many paintings did you count? Well, you should have got 16. In actual fact, three paintings were stolen in the robbery, as well as the Titian, another two paintings, each worth about £10,000, were spirited away. Neither of them has ever been found. But that little task was just to distract you. The real test was whether you remembered to reset the alarms. There was only one red alarm, so you should have marked one R on your paper. Seeing the alarm provided you with a visual trigger to remind you to reset it. If you did forget, it may have been because you were distracted by trying to count the paintings. And being distracted is a common reason why we forget to do things we mean to do in everyday life. And for the final section of the challenge, you should have marked a C on your notepad to complete the test. This was the hardest part of the task because it relied purely on your ability to remember things unprompted. So, if you counted all 16 pictures and have one R and the letter C in front of you, you can give yourself a tick for prospective memory. But regardless of whether you got it right or not, it does no harm to leave yourself prompts as long as they're appropriate. Put reminder notes in places you look every day rather than obscure parts of the house. Don't leave a message on the cooker if you never use it. Get a free trial of the world's best scientific brain games at www.getbraingames.com.